Hey, I'm Casey. Welcome to my new channel. The first project is Marquee Lights. This video is being sponsored by Hobbycraft, which means that all of the materials you see here, everything I use to decorate the letters, the glues, the paints, the glitters, all comes from them. So thanks for supporting the video, guys. Sweet honey, okay, so what do you need? You need a sheet of plywood. Some 2x2 two two softwood battens, the same length and width as the plywood. Paper mache letters to spell your word. A bunch of paints, glitter to decorate your letters. Some glue or better still, Mod Podge. Some wood undercoat. Some spray paint. I've gone for metallic shades. Duct tape. Wood glue. Fairy lights. And your drill. You need two drill bits for this project, a large one and a small one. And eight screws. Right, prep your surface and let's start by painting a layer of undercoat on your plywood. Okay, spray painting. Always do this in a well-ventilated area and wear a face mask. So I want my plywood to look like it's a sheet of metal. So I'm going to start with the silver spray paint. Then I'm moving on to the gun metal to add a bit of depth, a bit of texture, make it look a bit more industrial. So you've got your painted plywood. Now what we need to do is drill the supports. These are the two by two softwood battens that I mentioned earlier. When drilling a screw, I always like to give the screw a little hammer, just to get it into place. So when it comes to decorating letters, be as crazy as you want. Anything with glitter is fun. So obviously this is the glitter one. I created a little candy cane A here using masking tape. I loved doing the faux rust effect on this one, just using paint. This one here is just midnight blue paint and gold stars, you can't go wrong. And then I needed a little pop of neon at the end. Apply wood glue to the whole of the letter. Avoid going too close to those edges, otherwise your glue is going to squelch out when you press your letter down onto your plywood. Apply a bit of pressure, just enough for the glue to bite and onto the next. So we're going to start with a pilot hole using a small drill bit. What you're trying to do here is make the drill bit go through to the side, creating a hole that's basically telling you where to drill with the larger drill bit. Switch to the larger drill bit and go back through your holes to make room for the lights. Okay, so now it's the fun bit. This is when it all starts coming together, putting the lights through the holes. So this is when it's handy if you've gone for a string of lights where you have more lights than you need. I made the mistake of counting every single hole and then trying to find fairy lights with the exact same number. So go for 100 fairy lights if you've got 35, 40 holes. It'll just mean that you've got a little bit extra wire to play with when you're stretching the lights into each hole. As you go along, secure the lights with a piece of duct tape. I'm going to carry on doing this and then I'm going to flip it over and let you see what it looks like. If a couple of the lights haven't quite got through enough, I just use a pair of tweezers, just kind of eke them out. Um, but yeah, it's looking, looking good. Okay, let's go and plug them in and see what they look like. that's it if you've liked the video please subscribe and leave a comment in the box below because I want to hear any ideas of either future projects you'd like me to give a go or if you've done this one please post a picture on social media and tag me in so I can see I love all that stuff and the other thing I want to tell you about was the notification bell if you look on the screen there's a little bell that you press and that will give you an alert every time I post a new video okay that's it so if you like this video please hit the like button I've got a ton of other videos coming out in the next few weeks all great ideas on how to make things for your home to make it a little bit more a bit more you